Today, investigators said a helicopter crash that took the lives of three National Guardsmen could have been prevented. The Black Hawk went down in December near Kimball, just south of St. Cloud. WCCO's Aaron Hassanzada walks us through the findings of the newly released internal investigation. December 5th, 2019, a charred National Guard Black Hawk helicopter down in Kimball, Minnesota. Three soldiers tragically killed. But no clear reason why the maintenance test flight went so horribly wrong. We just feel for them, you know, and we want to know that we're here to support them and we stand behind them and, yeah, thank you for serving our country. An internal investigation reveals the crucial errors leading up to the crash. The first engine failed because a hydromechanical unit was not installed or inspected properly. The backup engine was in the idle setting, leaving nothing to power the helicopter. The report also says both the test pilot and pilot failed to either maneuver or land the helicopter. Tragically, it also states that the aircraft mechanic on board should not have been allowed on the flight. The report puts blame on leaders, saying they failed to adequately assess the technical inspector's ability to do his job, though that inspector is no longer with the guard. Investigators recommend more training for pilots and test pilots so that this never happens again and so that the lives of Chief Warren Officer James Rogers, Charles Nord, and Sergeant Court Plantenberg are honored with real change. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO4 News. A statement from the Minnesota National Guard says that members of the community continue to grieve with the families of the fallen soldiers, adding that we hope the conclusion of this investigation and its findings will help bring them closure and peace.